Hi, my name is Ivan. I'm the creator of the Galen Framework. In this video, I would like to show you how to run a custom JavaScript so that you can take over the WebDriver instance and perform some actions on the page like clicking and uh, typing. Quite often you need to do these kind of things before you can check the layout because you need to perform some actions on the, on the page like logging in or posting something on the page so that you open up another page that is available to Galen so you could test the layout. In previous video I have shown you how to inject the custom JavaScript uh, in the browser but this is completely different. Uh, this is uh, basically running the JavaScript outside of the browser. You can check that uh, command in here. It's the Selenium interaction section. So you just, this is just simple. You, you create a, some JavaScript file and then you can invoke it in here using the run command. So this is different from inject. If you use inject command, this JavaScript will be uh, executed inside the browser. And by doing the run, you actually execute the JavaScript out, outside of the browser and Galen provides you uh, a driver instance. So and because Galen is implemented in Java, so then the WebDriver instance is also a Java instance. And then uh, if you're not familiar with the WebDriver uh, or the Java API of WebDriver, just check the WebDriver Java API and you will find out find all the, the uh, methods available. So in this case, in this video, what I want to do is I want to check the login page and in order to go to the login page I need to click the login button. Simple, just single action. In order to do so I just need to do type something like driver, find element and then provide a CSS selector and then perform a click action. So first of all let's check the selector that we are going to use in this case. It's going to be button-login. Let's write a JavaScript file. As you can see, I have already prepared the login.gspec file, which has a simple uh, layout check. It checks just the login panel, only one object. So I checked that on desktop, it has a width of 400 pixels, and on mobile, that is like stretched completely to a screen size. So let's create a go to login.gs and type driver find element by CSS selector button login click. That is enough. Let's see how it's going to work. run go to login gs and that's enough let's try to run the test let's for now just run it for mobile oops oh yeah Hey, it worked. Let's check the reports. And here we go. Oh, though it checked the wrong layout in this case. We, I forgot to change the homepage.gspec to login.gspec. And because in homepage, in homepage we only check the menu and a header, or only the menu, I don't remember, so then that's why it passed. But let's take a look at the screenshot. Yay! So this is the login page, and we were able to click the login button. And here you see it has reported it in a report. So normally you don't really use it like this. So this is not not look. This doesn't look that nice. And in other videos I will show you how to write a proper framework uh, using the Galen pages. That is a the framework that allows you to implement a page object model in your tests and uh, it's much nicer than just doing this driver find element some keys click so i think that is enough for this video thanks for watching